Today you are going to learn how to calculate the MCB rating for the socket circuit. It means the circuit which contains only the sockets. Okay, so it is a sample of our sockets and it is the MCB on our DB. These sockets are low power sockets. It is not the power sockets. You know, the power sockets are used for to connect the high watts equipment. For example, our fridge, washing machine. Some countries allow both sockets and lights on single circuit. But here I am considering a circuit which contains only the sockets, low power sockets. I am electrical engineer. Please don't skip this video because you are going to learn very important topic. Suppose I have 10 sockets and here the voltage is 220 voltage and power factor is 0.8. You may be thinking why here power factor C because consumers connect sometimes resistive loads sometimes inductive loads it is all their wish so we need to consider power factor you know MCB is rated in amps that means we need current okay so for to calculate this current we need power power in watts but here we have the socket so how to assume watts for these sockets you know different countries has different standards some countries assume 150 watts for each socket okay but some countries assume it has 200 watts when you look at the sockets you can see 6 ampere 13 ampere etc some countries government allows 6 ampere for these low power sockets but some countries allow only 13 amps now you might be thinking that you could connect more power than these 150 or 200 watts on these sockets because it's ampere rating is 6 ampere and 13 ampere even if it is 6 ampere you can connect more than 500 watts for example right but here they allow only 150 or 200 watts why it is so answer is the government allows you to connect only the low power equipment on this one if you want to connect your high power equipment you need to connect only it on the power sockets on our calculation i just assumed one socket's power is 200 watts means you could connect an equipment of 200 watts so for 10 sockets 10 into 200 watts that is 2000 watts so we need to calculate the current it is a normal power equation so i put everything on this equation so the answer is 11.4 amps we need to give a safety margin for our mcb Usually we give a 125 percentage that means a 1.25 numerical value that means 11.4 ampere this one into 1.25 so the answer is 14.2 ampere in market you will not get this 14.2 ampere so you need to take next higher size of MCB so select 16 ampere or 20 ampere MCB now we need to select the curve for our MCB here we need to select only the C curve you know the C curve allows 5 to 10 times of the rated current which means if your MCB is of 20 ampere then it will allow 100 to 200 amps that means 5 to 10 times of the rated current for a short duration of time but if you use a B curve then there will be more chance for your MCB trips because it allows only 3 to 5 times of the rated current and here we need only a single pole MCB because here we don't need to connect the neutral on this MCB. I hope you understood this topic. If so, please like this and give me your valuable comments. And for to get more videos with deep information like this, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.